Those of you that have seen my previous BattleBird videos already know this, but just to be safe, I'll reiterate how much of a fan I am of the game. And to be completely honest, I'd be pretty content if it stayed exactly as it is in its current state. Not only do I love the game, but I also love everything around it, including the community and the transparency of the developers. So this video isn't really complaining about anything in particular, rather I'm outlining some thoughts I've been having on the whole, which I think make for an interesting discussion. So I don't want to dwell too much on the minutiae, like how to tackle the class and balance or what game modes might be welcome. Instead, I want to take a broader look at BattleBit on the whole. Now, this discussion I'm about to go into was triggered by an article I read where Sergeant Okie Doki, great name, he's one of the developers, was talking about the early days of BattleBit. This probably would have been around the 2018-2019 region and back then the game was a lot more hardcore. For example, if you jump from a high enough position, you'd break your legs and you'd need to inject morphine in order to recover. The problem they had was that the game's visuals did not match that hardcore style. And in Sergeant Okie Doki's own words, if the screenshots don't match the gameplay, you have a problem. Our game played like squad, <laughs> but looked like Roblox. That was a terrible move. So at this point, they had a decision to make, and they decided to pull back and make the game more arcadey, which Mr. Okidoki said wasn't a decision I enjoyed, but I had to do it. It turned out it was a good decision. And that's hard to argue with considering how many millions of sales they've made so far. And I wanted to go into the origins of BattleBit because in its current state, you certainly see remnants of a very hardcore game within what is ultimately an arcadey first person shooter. And with that being said, what I wanted to discuss today and to get your guys thoughts on is have they gone too hardcore with certain aspects or too casual with others? Or have they got the balance just right? For a long, long time, I was saying that ever since Battlefield deviated from the niche that is a Battlefield style game, there's been a void that's been begging to be filled. This was most evident to me when I heard the World War 3 game being slated as a new Battlefield style game. But when I tried it, it was nothing like Battlefield. It kind of looked similar-ish, but it played in a completely different way. This was the first bit of tangible evidence I had for just how desperate the displaced Battlefield community was to scratch that Battlefield itch. And now there's no doubt in my mind that BattleBit is the closest thing we've had to a proper Battlefield style game for a long old time. And I really hope that's not too disrespectful to the Battlefield BattleBit developers because it's certainly more than just a Battlefield clone. They've done a lot of great innovative things as well and built a superb community of plenty of trust which is by no means any easy task but i have thought for a very long time that if a new game came out with unique maps a new set of guns but played exactly like battlefield 3 minus maybe <laughs> the netcode issues then that game would be a massive hit even if graphically it looked exactly like battlefield 3 and BattleBit, I think, is fairly close to that model, which is one of the reasons I reckon it is so successful. However, as I've said, it has some aspects which are definitely more hardcore and the occasional aspect which is a bit more casual. And I guess the gist of my discussion and what I want to talk about in this video is, would BattleBit be even better if its gameplay was more similar to old school Battlefield? Let's say Battlefield 3 or Battlefield 4. Firstly, before we go into this, we should probably highlight what is more hardcore in BattleBit. The obvious ones are the very low time to kill, the body armor system, bandaging, slow reloads, and the lack of health regeneration. And it's clear from what Sergeant Okidoki has said previously that he is a fan of Milsim games, in particular Squad, and that he didn't enjoy making the game more arcadey. And I just wonder whether there are some hardcore elements which they're holding on to that actually could do with being softened up a bit. And I think this is a particularly interesting discussion to have because in the future we are going to be getting a Milsim game mode introduced to BattleBit which apparently will make it much more like Squad. Now would this then free up the developers to put all their hardcore elements that they like so much into this new mode 
while making the mode that we've currently got play a bit more like Battlefield 3 or Battlefield 4. And if it played more like Battlefield 3 or 4, would that even be a good thing? I personally think that it might be a good thing, but I am conflicted by the fact that if it ain't broke, why change it? But if you had a gun to my head, I would say, especially the 254 player mode, would be better in my opinion with a higher time to kill, no body armor system, faster reloads, and maybe a Battlefield 5 style health regeneration system where you can regen a bit, but not to full health without the use of a medic in order to encourage teamwork. And maybe I'm just a filthy casual here, but I'd also probably want a slower run speed compared to the current light armor run speed. So I guess that is a bit of a move more in the hardcore direction. And that is just my opinion. I do accept the fact that I'm sure I'm overlooking some aspects which I'd miss if these changes were actually implemented. And I think the load time to kill is actually very enjoyable in the 64 player mode compared to the 254 player one. Also, I am nervous that I'm just stuck in my ways and potentially hindering innovation within video games by encouraging a new game to be more like one that already exists. That's one of the key areas where Battlefield went off the rails. They kind of tried to innovate a bit too much. Obviously, there was greed that came into it as well. That was behind a lot of the innovation. But they weren't giving the people the core aspects they enjoyed from early, extremely popular games in their franchise. That's pretty much the discussion I wanted to have. I'd love to hear if you guys think it's perfect just as it is, or whether you think the suggestions I've offered up sound reasonable, or if you've got your own suggestions that I've not mentioned. I've definitely heard in-game and some general rumblings that indicate there might be a few people that think it's a bit too hardcore at the moment. I just have no idea what proportion of people are completely happy with the way the game currently plays. I'm also genuinely looking forward to their Milsim mode. I do like Milsim kind of games. I've been a big fan of Hell Let Loose, which is within the Milsim category, albeit on the more casual side. I think it'd be great having that extra squad communication in Battle Bit. So I'm looking forward to it. And I'm by no means adverse to a hardcore game. Probably just looking for something to absolutely, once for all, completely scratch that Battlefield itch. Battle Bit is currently mostly doing it and by the way, they're doing a lot of the great things which Battlefield didn't ever do. But I think on the whole, to fully scratch that itch, the needle would have to move a little further away from the hardcore. And like I said at the start, regardless of this discussion, I am really enjoying Battle Bit and will definitely keep playing it even if it doesn't go in the direction I'm advocating for. As far as I can see, there's no harm in opening up discussions to possible ways of fine tuning a game that already has such incredible fundamentals. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I really would love to hear your thoughts. And if you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like and also think about subscribing. Cheers, guys. What the? How did you survive that? No way. Nice, well played.